And what we're going to do, and I touched on it yesterday just talking, we're going to start with your fundamental core technique. So he starts with Seonagi. Nice. Good. How about Seo to Osoto? So hook it, hop the circle. And then without letting go to a regular Osoto grip, he's just pulling down on the arm. What is your favorite technique? And there's going to be some difference generally between shorter stature guides and taller stature guides. Right? Your technique is going to be the same as your technique. Yours is not going to be the same as his. We're all going to gravitate towards techniques that fit our body type. So what I'm going to do today, we're going to start with that core technique. And as I said yesterday, the, the main premise is, whatever that is, that's what 75 to 80% of your practice time should go on that core technique. You're practicing in a lot of different ways. You're doing it from a lot of different tie-ups in a lot of different situations. Moving backward, moving forward, moving right, moving left, circling right, circling left. You're doing it against guys in a crouch defensive stance. You're doing it against extreme right, staggered extreme left. You have to have answers for all those things. So you're saying, oh, that's pretty boring. Well, that's a whole lot of variables right there to use your fa favorite technique in. So you're getting some variety. But the premise is, if say 80% of your practice time goes in to that Takuiwaza, your favorite technique, your opponent has to fear it or at least respect it. If he doesn't respect it, say your core technique, we number that number one, he doesn't even react, you're not going to get to the two, three, and four. You know, it's like a boxer with a weak jab. Nobody respects his jab. They're going to be all over the boxer generally, right? Same thing here. So you're going to have to help me today. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask each one of you guys, what's your favorite technique, Jake? Uh, Uchimata. Uchimata. Good. All right. All right. Cool. This one's saying Nagi. Of course it is. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, I just say that because that's going to be the hardest one for me to get down and bend after. <laughs> so, <laughs> baby fish, you'll help me there. Sure. Uchimata. Uchimata. You can't say that. You can't say that. Don't know yet. Yeah. Everybody likes those soda. You've got to have a favorite rear throw, too. Favorite rear throw, favorite forward throw. Now, we'll do a, maybe a series around those soda. And this is just standard stuff. <laughs> you guys, I don't need to know each one. But I'm going to try to uh, half ass demonstrate. Uh, what a series might be for a, uh, a shorter stature guy. Let's get it out of the way. I'm not going to be doing much with it. Let's do it out of the way. So if I'm gripping up here, then maybe my opponent reaches, I've got to see in the front. From this same grip, I can attack, if I feel him going back, I can hook. Ha, ha, ha. I can attack Osoto going to the rear. Maurice Allen, the Samba guy from up around Washington area, yep. D.C. area. He came here, and he came back with Sasai over to here. You know, it's not an ideal position for Sasai. A guy can post his hand, but people aren't expecting Sasai from there. When, when Morris did that to you. That's correct. Break your arm. Uh, before we get to Kochi and Ochi, from the same position, you could switch around back. If you stay tight, this, and you want to get your hips lower than he is, arch into it. I'm not getting quite low enough, all right? Uh, from that same Ipon Seonagi grip, you got Ochi, you got Kochi, Kochi Gake. You got all those different things, and now you've built up a series. But none of that stuff is going to work if they don't fear the Kochi Gare and react to it, okay? Uh, who had, Jake had, Harai, Uchimata, Uchimata, Harai, here. I picked the Harai, yeah. Come on, yeah, I was just picking. I was just saying, I'm leaning on my head a lot through my life. So, we're up here. You, of course, you've got your, you got your Harai. You've got Harai, <laughs> Osoto. You've got, uh, you've got Harai, to a side sir, Komiyashi. If you're fighting a guy, generally, a lefty, you know, maybe this foot staggered slightly, and he's a left-hander, you know, stay upright, but your left leg a little staggered. 
you know, a lot of times you switch, come around back, fake the right, uh, just showing the hip a little bit and coming around back. To make that work, you got to sell it. So right here, just a little tug, a little turn of the head. You're not taking your hip joint past the knot in his belt, okay? So I'm right here, and I'm trying to draw that kind of a reaction, a block and cut. You know, that's what makes it work better. So here, coming around back, pulling straight down. This one, drive it into his belly and pull straight down. I don't care if you do Kosoto Gaki, Tani Otosh, chair throw, you know, you saw this, you know, it can be like a, a chair throw, but pull straight down and put this one into his, his belly. Drive this into his belly. Because he wants to turn it into Ochi. Don't hurt me. Okay. Turn it into Ochi. 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 Other one. Yeah. The other one. Okay. <laughs> you understand. All right? So, we, we went over briefly one for a shorter guy, the Pawn Sail Nagi. Uh, break up and try it. I know that's a whole lot at once. And we'll come back and take it into little parts. Get your throw. Play with the various follow-ups right now. Start from Seonagi Grip, Osoto, Sasai, uh, Chair Throw, Kochi, Ochi, you know, all those movements from the Ipan Seonagi Grip. So let's start with that. Uh, we'll come back and do the taller person stuff. Go ahead and play. Big Fisher. From Loudonville, Ohio, has a pretty good Seonagi, and he, he knows this series a little bit already. So rather than me show a throw I don't do, come on out, Joe. Get whoever you like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he starts with Seonagi. Nice. Good. How about Seonagi to Osoto? So hook it, hop the circle. And then without letting go to a regular Osoto grip, he's just pulling down on the arm. I don't know if you're going to follow Okay, uh, Kochigake. So, uh, Seonagi, Kochigake. It's hooking. Kochigake. There you go. Nice. Beautifully done. Now, Ochigake. A hooking Ochi. So he does turns. Yep. Okay, you know what I like about this? He's selling it good. Come on back up. Let me just brag on you a little bit. All right. He didn't turn all the way in. You notice? But he sold it right here. It's just like that. He sold the movement by turning his head, but he didn't go way over here with his hip. He's already tried, let's say he's already tried Seonagi in a match and he can't throw the guy with his favorite technique, and he knows his reaction. He knows he's going to switch, but he doesn't want this guy to know that. So he turns his head and he just tugs a little, and then he switches, whatever it's going to be. Really nice. Now the next one, the Maurice Allen technique from 1975, I learned. Uh, it goes up into Sasai, so same uh, grip, real tight in Sasai. That's ugly. You know, the guy can post his hand, but nobody expects Sasai from that grip. John, Chair throw. When Morris Allen does it to you, you don't, want, you don't post. Yeah, if I was doing <laughs> that, <laughs> no, you don't. I wouldn't put my arm Because of his wrestling background, he's on you like right on right. He's falling you right down. Yeah. You post, yeah. your arm's going the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah, he's a tough guy. With you. Yeah, he's Okay, so chair Always throw. a gentleman. Chair throw. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah well, he did more of a Tanyo Tosha or a, a Koso Gake or whatever, but uh, chair throw like a Judo so, Sakui Nagi. Let me bend down a little bit. Put your hips lower. Yeah, hips. There you go. Now, this has to be very tight. Put your head right up next to it. Tight. He can do it right from there. Don't throw him. I would get Thank the you. crash pad for that one. <laughs> so All on. right? I now. hanging on. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Venus lined up with Jupiter and it shined. It's great. All right. Let's practice. Even you taller guys, you're going to be coaches. You're black belts and stuff, and you guys are going to be assistant coaches soon. You need to know, you know, even if you're a taller man, you need to know a shorter man's judo so you can help the, the juniors coming up under you. So let's practice this first, then we'll get to something that's a little more relevant for you guys right after this. What I want here at camp, I look around, I see a lot of really good techniques 
but there's no continuity to it. There's no uh, system of attack, you know? And we want to group things into a series or a system of attack. And again, if he doesn't fear your core skill, that system is not going to work very well. You can be a, a decent nickel-dime, hack-em-to-death fighter. One of my best friends is that way, and he went pretty far, but not as far as he could have gone. You know, and people never wanted to fight him again. Fritz. You know, <laughs> he would beat the tar out of people. But I wouldn't call it a system of attack, you know. I think he would have been national champ. He went with national champions with the Cohen, uh, Steve Cohen and Clyde Worthen and, you know, no score. Fritz was mean, too. No score decisions. He mean, he's he a killer at yeah. heart. He's a killer at heart, you know. But, uh... Yeah, I want you guys to have, first of all, that core technique that you spend 75 to 80% of your practice time on. That way the guy's going to, if he doesn't fear that attack, he's going to have to react to it somehow. You know, and that's going to open up the two, the three, the four, or the five, okay? So, with that in mind, we're not going to have time to train your favorite technique here. That's on you when you go home. There's a million ways to practice it. Uh, but right now, let's get uh, your partner. Try as much of the series as you can, all right? If you have phones, I hate being filmed, but if you got phones or something, you can film it. You know, film fish doing it. Okay? Uh, three, two, one. You know, to make sure we get stuff coming. Mm -hmm. Let's everybody does Osoto. Lightweights, heavyweights, everybody does Osoto. So, Eric, if you'll come here. And, uh, I can't do explosive motion at all right now with my knee, so uh, I'm going to do like what we call like bob up and down a little bit. You're relaxed. This foot's going to step where this foot was, and right at the same time, I'm going to hop the circle right to here. There's my own right? That's number one. Okay, so again, let's make sure we got the number one. My, my experience has been when you step forward deep and come in for a Osoto, oh, very hard to catch somebody. Unless he's retreating backward, you know, it's possible. Or after an Ochi and he steps back and is retreating, maybe I can. But generally, I try to attack this leg first before I take this step. This, this is almost simultaneous. I want, as this foot is reaping, I want this foot to go where this foot was. So it's right here, hop, 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 and then bam. When I feel this right there, that bend in his back, that's when my head wants to go down and I want to reap the leg up. Now, that's ideal, but let's say that, isn't, that doesn't happen, all right? So I'm right here, and Eric's going to step back out of it. Eric's going to step back out of it. Eric's going to step back out of it. Okay. Yeah, look there. We're getting far back. Yeah, you are now. Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to hit Ochi, or I'm going to hit Sasai right here. You see? Uh, it's probably enough to work on at the moment. He steps back. Okay. So I shuffle in, okay? And I hit Ochi, all right? That's, you know, when he steps back to avoid it, you hit Ochi. So, I step, he steps back. I, if I can't reach it, I plant my foot quickly, hits the side, right here, and spin him down. All right? That's enough for now. Let's try those two, okay? So first, you got to have a good reaction from your opponent. He has to react as he would in a match. So, the guy's attacking the Osoto, and I'm backing up to avoid his Osoto. You know, that's a common way people get out of a soda. They back up, try to scoop you or whatever, okay? Give your partner that reaction when you're the uke, all right? That's the action, reaction we're looking for in Randori or Contest. So you got Ochi Gary, you know? He steps back, you got Ochi, lower your level, hit Ochi. You got Osoto, you miss, put the foot down, wheel around into society. Let's take those two first. Go ahead. Thanks. Okay, so I'm with fish. I, I do this kind of thing that, you know, if a guy doesn't give me that reaction, 
so as I'm hooking it, I'm going to push it into the person if I can turn and make it a variety, right? So you guys know that. If as I'm hooking, he steps wide, oh, you know, so across, thing. yeah, like I'm, I'm reaching forward over here. You guys that like Uchimata can turn it into Uchimata. All right, those are good techniques. But here's one. Uh, I've gotten into my Osoto position, hop, hop, hop. Some guys right here were having resistance. They're trying to raise this leg up out. And at that point, I'm hooking his support leg and coming down, all right? In other words, the leg that is being hooked, he's trying to step up out of it this way. So you gotta have that covered too. So let me just, so we're here, I'm hop, hop, hop. Once I get to here, he wants to raise that leg up. I'm hitting the support leg up and coming down straight on him this way. All right, try it. Because they're gonna give you all kinds of reactions. One, two, three. Looking Ochi, so he does turns, yep. Okay, you know what I like about this? He's selling it good. Come on back up, let me just.